it's Sunday. This is Nita VR Design. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, hit the bell for more notification. I'm up here at Pike Nursery. As the last video you've seen, I was trying to look for some seeds, organic seeds for my garden. So I'm up here trying to look around. I love plants and flowers. Look y'all, they got so much stuff. I forgot about Pipe Nursery. I've been going to Home Depot, Lowe's, and the little side nurseries um, that I found on the street. But this is the big boy. They have all kind of flowers, plants, seeds, anything that you need. So I'm up here now walking around. I always look for um, plants and flowers because sometimes you can see some plants and flowers here that you've never seen before. And Home Depot or Lowe's, they got it all. As I got older, y'all, I started getting into plants and flowers. We grow it up on garlands in the back of our yard. But as I got older, I'm just into it now. So, look at this. It's big. I thought I've been to Pike Nursery a long time ago, but this one is a big Pike Nursery. Look at all these plants and flowers, y'all. The little pot holders. Ceramic pot holders. I'm in love, y'all. Maybe I can find some kind of herbs, too. This is $3.99. And let me see what it is. That Collis, C O L E U S U S. I'm trying to see if I'm pronouncing it right. These are Shea Annual, so I guess it's like, um, I guess flowers, not herbs. That's flowers. Oh, look at this right here, y'all. I like flowers and plants with colors in it. Look at this elephant ears, five forty nine green and pink and then the pink and green pretty the original color green that's nice look at all these for 149 this is august so i'm sure that you can still plant your flowers and um tree shrubs shrubs as i'm yeah shrubs <laughs> so i'm in love I didn't know I was gonna come into a big old Pike's nursery. So I was coming for seeds, but y'all know how I do. If I see some stuff, I'm gonna go around looking around. I'll probably be in here all day. Dr. Earth Root Zone Organic Handcrafted Blend. That's fertilizer for your um, plants and flowers. Let me see. Oh yeah, y'all, I'm in love. <laughs> I need to get what I need to get and go, but I know I ain't going to do that. So, how are everybody doing on this Sunday? Happy Sunday. I'm here in the ATL. Got up early. Did my workout. Trying to get my exercise on, y'all. And staying safe with my mask, of course. And just thought about, let me come to Pike Nursery. I'm glad I thought about this. Oh, you know what? And sod. If y'all need some sod. Here's where you come and get your side. This is a big nursery. This is probably the biggest one I don't been to. Look at here. You know, it's different kind of sods. You have different kind of grass. In the ATL where I'm at, some people have like fescue, but I have Bermuda. So this is probably the best time when it's real hot to plant the Bermuda side. It needs really hot, hot, hot heat, sun, sun. And they have the little squares, y'all see. I don't see the prices of them, but if y'all need any sod for your yard, this is definitely where you can come. Bermuda, I don't even know which one. The Bermuda usually be, I'm not sure, because this looks like it's just start growing. So I don't want to tell y'all the wrong thing, but look at all that. Got to come back and get me a couple of um, squares for my backyard. Oh, this is good. This is good for me. I'm trying to see what else I want. But I'm supposed to be out here for my garden. 
So I'm getting excited, y'all. Let me see what I need to be probably going back to the front. This look like tree shrubs. Let me see what it is. Wax leaks. Can y'all see? Let me try to zoom in. $21.99. Wax leaf, whatever that is. Evergreen shrubs. So I'm right. It is shrubs. Ooh. I'm trying to see if y'all want to come out here and see what this is. Some of this stuff I ain't never heard of. $21.99. So to me, I think some of this stuff is cheaper than Home Depot and Walmart, y'all. Because I don't see some of this stuff before. And y'all know Home Depot and Lowe's can get expensive. So Pike next it might be the best bet to come out here. This is a nice one. So now I know where to come if I need anything for my plants, my flowers, garden. I don't think I'll be planting any trees. I'm not sure. But I'm looking for some tomatoes, cucumbers. But I want organic. I'm trying to do the organic. Hopefully I can find organic. Look at the little, um, I guess the apple tree, right? I guess brown wait a minute blackberry that's what it is this is a blackberry tree hope y'all can hear me because i got my mask on let me talk a little louder a little louder okay bam blackberry so most of these are blackberry and look at the little um the little bushes right there so let me see i don't see my tomatoes and cucumbers no just looking but you know what yeah matter of fact i'm looking for some organic seeds do y'all have organic seeds Yes, they're um, inside in the corner by the register. Okay, thank you. That's what I thought. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, so the seeds are inside y'all. But I love blackberries and blueberries, so this is interesting if I want to come back. And I'm sure it's going to be a little more than the seeds because it seems like they're already growing. Sometimes you have to look up what's the best um, season or month to grow some of your vegetables and fruits so you won't just be wasting money i did start off a little late <laughs> a little late i mean probably more than a little late this is august and you should be planting some of your stuff around april may springtime but i know my garden is gonna grow i'm gonna get that good old organic soil and maybe some manure mix it up together i've been doing my research so my garden is gonna definitely grow okay herbs, herbs herbs this is what i was looking for too here go some herbs let me make it smaller herbs some herbs fine herbs locally grown let me see Oh, here they go. Rosemary. I might have to buy some of these already. Like, growing so I can catch up. Because I'm starting a little late. Y'all want some lavenders? Lavender plants. They got lavenders. Rosemary. And I'm sure a lot of different other herbs they have. Let me look over here. I'm like a little kid, y'all. The flowers. Look at those beautiful flowers. They always got some weird names to it. Look at that. Beautiful. Like I said, you're going to see so many different plants and flowers here that you don't see in other places like Home Depot or Lowe's. And I don't been to a lot of nurseries, but this is the biggest one. Pikes Nursery is the biggest one. So if y'all looking to plant flowers in, plant flowers and um, plants and shrubs and whatever, Pike Nursery would probably be the best place to come. Let's head to the back. Ooh, yes. I love these ceramic pots. Blue, they got white. I'm supposed to be heading to the back, but look, this caught my eye. 
Ooh, some big old pretty pots for your um, plants. Red, look at the red and orange. A rust looking color, gray. They got the black. Look at the pretty blue, I love blue. This is nice. Let me see, I know y'all saying she just filming, and how much is it? I already know they probably look expensive. Not really, this is, well, yeah, $39.99. I'm trying to see the size, but this is $39.99. This is a little medium granite pot. But look, you can choose the different colors. You know, you go Home Depot, Lowe's, you have different selection, but not that many. But right here, you can choose more selection here. Ooh. So I'm still outside. Look at this. Now I love these. I have these in my home, inside my home. I love these. And let me see. So y'all will know. These are tropical look. Calm. Highlight only. But believe me, inside, I have about three and they're growing, I mean, big. So I'm not sure about the light inside my home, but I got a green thumb. <laughs> I was told, because most of my plants and flowers, they grow fast. My rosy bush outside grow fast. So I don't know about that hot sun, but they are beautiful inside your home. They got a fern. That's a big fern tree right here, 1999. Kimberly Queen fern. They're big. Okay, I'm getting my exercise ready today. This is a big one. Big nursery. This is nice. So, yeah, it's hot in the ATL. We've been getting like 91, but it feels like 100. You would think we, we, we'll be used to it, but I'm not used to all this heat. I've been in Atlanta all my life, but you can't never get used to this heat for some reason. The humidity here is really high, so it make it hotter. Okay, they have the um, soil, and I already showed you the fertilizer. Pipe planting mix, $9.99, and it's Pipe Nursery, I guess their brand. Let me see what this is. Mm. Look at this tree. It's kind of expensive, one thirty nine. What is this? Oh, Japanese maple. Oh, okay. It looked like a tree, like a maple tree. Yeah, that's a little expensive, but I don't know anything about shrubs. I don't know if it's expensive for that or not. But of course, one thirty nine for a tree. I don't know. I don't know. Let's go inside. Oh, it feels good in here, y'all. It feels good in here. Let me see what they have over here. Like for the birds, if y'all like birds, and have a little bird um, tree, or not a bird tree, what is it? A little house for the tree to hang on the tree or wherever you hang it at. It's a feeder. $39.99. Yeah. I'm gonna have to definitely come back here and get my seeds. And I want some tomatoes, cucumbers, I want some peppers. I'm trying to see what else, cabbages, maybe greens. Getting ready to just go on and plant everything I need to plant. If I have to buy some that's already grown, that's what I would do to try to catch up since I'm planting kind of late. And go from there go from there i would advise everybody get you a little garden going have your own fruits and vegetables instead of depending on these grocery stores when they run out you'll have your own so you all i'm getting ready to find my seeds she said they're up front so i'm just looking around before i go up front just wanted to check in with you all don't forget to subscribe like share comment and check out Pipe Nursery. Happy Sunday. Hey, I'm back. I just wanted y'all to see what I found. I found some more organic.
organic um, seeds. I just want y'all to see what they have. Cause Home Depot and Lowe's, they all out. But they just say they're getting ready to get another shipment in. So y'all might need to come to Pike Nursery if you're thinking it's too late. It's never too late. Come in Pike Nursery and get your organic seeds. Y'all look. And if you want to hurry it up, I'm sure they already got some herbs and tomatoes or whatever you want already planted and growing. And you just have to put it in your soil to finish it up. But I wanted y'all to know, look, non-GM old project and get the one with the organic. That's that old school. We don't have to put all them chemicals and that fake stuff that they do in the lab. So look at all this. She said it started off with the... Um, fruits and vegetables and the uh, herbs in the middle. Let me see what herbs she's talking about. She got the wheatgrass, y'all. That's a herb. And let me see. Chives, garlic. That's a herb. Then you end up with your flowers, y'all. Your plants and flowers. Well, really flowers. So y'all make sure you come to Pike Nursery. I found them. Happy Sunday.